Welcome, my friends. Consider 2x squared multiplied by 6x to the 4th minus 9x to the 3rd plus 7. The way to simplify an expression like this is to use what is called the distributive property, meaning multiply 2x squared by each of the three terms of the polynomial in parentheses. So this expression can be written as 2x squared multiplied by 6x to the 4th plus 2x squared multiplied by negative 9x to the 3rd plus 2x squared times 7. 2x squared multiplied by 6x to the 4th is 12x to the 6th, as we can multiply 2 and 6 to get 12, and add the exponents on x by the product rule. 2x squared times negative 9x to the 3rd is negative 18x to the 5th, and 2x squared times 7 is 14x squared. Altogether, we have 12x to the 6th minus 18x to the 5th plus 14x squared. Let's try another one. We have negative 8x to the 6th multiplied by 7x to the 3rd minus 4x squared plus 2x. We can again distribute the negative 8x to the 6th to each of the three terms inside parentheses. The result is negative 8x to the 6th multiplied by 7x to the 3rd minus 8x to the 6th multiplied by negative 4x squared minus 8x to the 6th times 2x. This becomes negative 56x to the 9th plus 32x to the 8th, minus 16x to the 7th, which is our final simplified expression. Let's try one with multiple variables. We have negative 9b to the 4th, c, times 5b squared, plus 8b to the 6th, c to the 3rd, minus 3c to the 3rd. Multiplying 9b to the 4th, c, by each term in parentheses, we have negative 9b to the 4th, c, times 5b squared, minus 9b to the 4th c times 8b to the 6th c to the 3rd, minus 9b to the 4th c times negative 3c to the 3rd. Simply multiply the constants together and add the powers of similar variables to simplify the expression. We have negative 45b to the 6th c minus 72b to the 10th c to the 4th, plus 27b to the 4th c to the 4th, which is our final simplified expression. Consider something like this. 3y minus 7 times y squared minus 4y minus 6. To simplify this, we have to multiply every possible combination of terms from the first expression and the second expression. The easiest way to think about this is to break it up into two parts. 3y multiplied by the second polynomial and negative 7 multiplied by the second polynomial. If we simplify these two expressions and put them together, we will have our final answer. 3y times y squared is 3y to the third. 3y times negative 4y is negative 12y squared. 3y times negative 6 is negative 18y. Negative 7 times y squared is negative 7y squared. Negative 7 times negative 4y is 28y. Negative 7 times negative 6 is 42. Now we need to combine terms. First, let's look for y to the third. There is only one of these, which is 3y to the third, so we will list that first. Then look for y squared terms, which we have two of, negative 12y squared and negative 7y squared. Together they add up to negative 19y squared. Now look for y terms, to which we have two, negative 18y and 28y, which add up to 10y. Finally, look for constants, which we only have one of, 42. Our final answer is 3y to the third minus 19y squared plus 10y plus 42. Okay, let's do one more problem. We have two trinomials multiplied together. 2y plus 2u plus 4 times 7y minus 3u minus 6. We need to multiply every possible combination of terms from the first and second trinomial. And the easiest way to think about how to do that is to split the problem into three separate multiplications. 2y multiplied by the second trinomial plus 2u multiplied by the second trinomial plus 4 times the second trinomial. This leaves us with 2y times 7y minus 3u minus 6 when we multiply 2y by the second trinomial plus 2u times 7y minus 3u minus 6 when we multiply 2u by the second trinomial and finally, plus 4 times 7y minus 3u minus 6, when we multiply 4 by the second trinomial. 
Now we can simplify what we have left. 2y times 7y is 14y squared. 2y times negative 3u is negative 6yu. 2y times negative 6 is negative 12y. 2u times 7y is 14yu. 2u times negative 3u is negative 6u squared. 2u times negative 6 is negative 12u. 4 times 7y is 28y. 4 times negative 3u is negative 12u. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. Now let's combine our terms. We only have one y squared term, which is 14y squared. We have two yu terms, which are negative 6yu and 14yu, which together make 8yu. We have two y terms, which are negative 12y and 28y, which add up to 16y. We only have one u squared term, which is negative 6u squared. We have two u terms, which are negative 12u and negative 12u, which together make negative 24u. We only have one constant, which is negative 24. Altogether, our answer is 14y squared plus 8yu plus 16y minus 6u squared minus 24u minus 24. All right, my friends, that completes our video discussing multiplying polynomials using the distributive property.